Hi everyone, it's Paula. Welcome back to Trapani's Tech Tips for Teachers, where my goal is to help make teachers' lives a little easier. Today's tech tip is another good one. Uh, it includes a few things that I just learned myself, so hopefully they'll be new to you as well. Uh, since we are all watching a lot more YouTube videos, we're trying to find great things to share with our students. Students are watching a lot more as part of their assignments. Uh, parents are now asked to become a little bit more familiar with YouTube. I wanted to kind of quickly go over some of the settings that um, exist when you're playing back a YouTube video and show you some of the ones that you can change to do some really cool things um, to make you know the learning even better and uh, easier for the kids. So let's take a look at YouTube. This um, is my channel and we're gonna just use one of my videos as a demo here. So if you choose any video in YouTube and you click on it, it appears. Hi everyone, it's Paula. Welcome back to So here I am talking at the beginning of the video. Michael you see the timeline starts to move across. A easier. So let's bring this back to the beginning. Um, so down here in this window where the video is, are some buttons. And I think, you know, most of them you probably, they're pretty self-explanatory, but the ones that have some things that you can edit and, and manipulate I, are the ones I really want to focus on. So let's go through them. This one obviously is play or pause. That's the first button there. The next button that has an arrow with a line uh, will allow you, you know, maybe as you approach the end of this video, you realize, oh, this wasn't what I'm look, I was looking for. I'm going to click this one and it brings you to the next video in this up next list here because YouTube is, you know, trying to decide, um, you know, other videos that are similar to this one and they sort of compile them here in a list off on the right hand side. So if you're kind of done with this video and you want to move on to the next one on the list, that will bring you there. The next one is a pretty common icon. That's the third one that looks like a speaker and that's where you can adjust your volume. Mine is set all the way to the maximum because my computer has a really bad uh, speaker. Uh, and next to it, you'll see some numbers and that's the timing, right? So the second set of numbers is the exact length of the video. So this one is six minutes and 46 seconds. And right now it's showing zero because it hasn't begun. As we press play, this will count, uh, you know, across the timeline of the length of the video. As we slide down the right here on the, this toolbar, there's a big empty space, and then we come to CC. And it looks pretty similar. We might see this, you know, when we're watching um, te television shows on TV or Netflix, and it stands for closed captioning, which is basically another um, version of subtitles, right? So you can actually have the text printed, you know, along the bottom of the screen while you're watching your video. Um, the next one is a settings icon, and I'm going to um, show you some examples of what you can do here. But when you click settings, there is uh, this one is always set to autoplay. That means as soon as you load your video, it's going to play automatically right away. Um, the next thing I just learned was that you can adjust the playback speed. If you have, it's, you know, set to normal, obviously, as you, you know, first click on a video. But if you click that, you can actually slow it down or speed it up. If you have, you know, ever listened to a video and you thought, oh my God, this person is talking too fast. Maybe you want to try and slow it down. 0.75 might be just enough for you to say, oh, okay, now she sounds more normal. People often accuse me of talking too fast. So you might want to slow down one of my videos if you find that, you know, too quick. Um, other times, one of my colleagues mentioned, she said, look, I don't have a lot of time. I want to watch these videos, but I can't dedicate, you know, six full minutes to watch a video. I I'm going to do time and a half. And now she can watch her video in, you know, a shorter time and kind of zip through and see if it's even interesting to her. And of course, you know, if you find that it's going too quickly, then you go to go back to normal speed. But I thought, you know, these can really, um, you know, help a student maybe who needs it to be slowed down a little bit. You know, I thought that was uh, the I fact that you could change the speed, I thought was a really cool feature. Um, the other thing is, now this is indicating um, that the subtitles are off. If I had clicked this button here, you'll see there's a red line under it. And we had a quick little message up here to say that the subtitles are now going to be on. So if I go to settings now, it's going to show that the subtitles are going to play in English. That's the default because the language of my uh, Chrome browser is set to English. And the last one I never really adjust, that's the quality of the video. Um, 
it, it's the default is 720p, which is, you know, decent quality. Of course, if you're watching something and you really wanted it to be, you know, more defined uh, or less defined, you know, you can adjust that a little bit. Um, but we're just going to leave it the way it was. Uh, the seventh video is square. It's like a little square inside a square. And that one is a mini player. So this could work if the, say you're, um, you know, a student and you wanted to watch the video off in the corner, but you also wanted to see the worksheet that the teacher wanted you to fill out while you were working. If you click this button, now this video shrinks down to the corner. Um, and so it's almost like a picture in picture. You can see the screen that was behind you and you can also watch the video, you know, as a small view uh, in the lower right corner. Pretty cool feature if you're trying to multitask, I guess. Uh, and the final two are just to enlarge the video. So this one allows you to see it in what they call theater mode. It makes it pretty big. Um, the only difference between this and full screen would be that full screen literally takes everything else away. You won't see any tabs or, or any other distractors. Uh, this one, you still see a couple of tabs, you know, you still see your tabs across the top here, but it makes it look more like, you know, a movie screen or, or something like that. So we'll just get out of that. So I wanted to show you what a couple of these things uh, sound like. So I think before, when we first started, this is, you know, normal speed. Hi everyone. It's Paula. Just talking. Welcome back to Trapatti's Tech Tips for since I turned on captions, where my goal is to help make teachers' lives a little easier. There goes the, the captions. Hi. Great feature for kids who maybe need to see the words and hear the words and see the visual. I thought that was an excellent thing. But I wanted to show you how cool it is to translate this. If you click on settings, I had set the subtitles to be on. We can see that because the red line is under that CC icon. And um, it says uh, English right here. But if I click that arrow, the other option says auto translate. So if I click that, I can choose any language that Google has or YouTube has as an option. So let's just do Spanish since that's a pretty common one. And now what you'd probably want to do is turn the sound off so you don't have the English voice, you know, confusing you with the Spanish subtitles, but that's really your choice. I'm going to mute it for a minute, but you see right away my subtitles translated to Spanish. So as I press play and the video advances, my um, subtitles also advance, but they are now written in Spanish instead. So I thought that was, uh, again, great features um, for students and parents to be aware of so that um, you know, if your child, you know, is, is maybe struggling with understanding a particular video, there are some things you could do right inside YouTube to make it a little bit more understandable. So hopefully this was helpful for you. Thanks so much for watching. If you found today's tip useful, like, comment, or share. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss a thing. If you have any questions, comments, or requests, you know where to find me.